Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. Now today I wanted to talk about a new tool under our project maintenance section of Victolic Tools for Revit called View Filter Generator. Now this tool is meant to simplify the creation of view filters within Revit by being able to query parameter data from your project and then let you create filters based on those unique values. So let's take a look. Up here in the Victolic toolbar, under the Productivity Tools section and under Project Maintenance, you'll see View Filter Generator. Now, first glance at the View Filter Generator, you'll see a drop down at the very top. These are all your project parameters that we'll be able to query. So we could use something like uh, Vic Area, and we could see all the unique values for the Vic Area. Uh, we could do something like uh, you know Vic Sequence and see all the unique values for Vic Sequence. Now, for each unique value that it finds. You can do multiple things with it. You can adjust the line color. You can adjust the fill color. Uh, you could copy these out and make, uh, let's say, sequence three, like you're planning for the future. Or you can use color profiles to automatically set these colors. So under here, these are presets of color sequences that you can manage right here through Manage Color Profiles. This is the Victolic standard one that'll come with the installation. We're using only fill color, but you could also do line color as well. And basically, when you have a number of filters that get generated, it'll pick from these colors. If it makes it to the end of the list, it'll just start the list over again and keep on creating view filters. So this will allow us to very quickly query some values, apply a color profile to it, and then generate the filters. So back here in our project, You'll see that my system here just kind of split into two different sequences. If we take a look at the filters it created, it created a Vic sequence filter for sequence one, and for sequence two, it applied the colors that we had chosen to the patterns right here. So I'll undo this. Let's do something a little bit more complicated. Back to the view filter generator. You can clear out what's already here, or you can just query another parameter. So I'll do Vic area as the parameter. I'll get the values. Okay, I only really care about these three, so I'm going to get rid of this extra one here. Um, I can organize them up and down however I want. I can apply another color profile to it and then click on Generate Filters. And you'll see that in the background, I have Mechanical Room East, North, and South. It's just a way to illustrate how to split up your model. And let's do one other example here. Back to the view filter generator, I'll clear out the table. And let's say we wanted to query something with a little bit more options. Schedule assembly name will give you all of the names of every assembly that you've created with Victolic Tools for Revit. So there's quite a number in here. I'll use the Vic standard profile, click apply, and you'll see that this purple color, this magenta color at the top, will get repeated a couple times in here. And then generating these filters. This is the kind of thing that would take a very long time within Revit, and now it's basically down to a single click. Let's take a look at what the model looks like. Now we've been able to create view filters specific to each instance of each assembly in our project. So the view filter generator is a very powerful tool that you can use to query data from your project parameters and create view filters based off those unique values. Thanks so much for watching.